RNZ National. It's now five minutes past midnight. News and weather for you again at one o'clock. Well, Merry Christmas. You know, it's my honour to be able to uh, be possibly the first person in New Zealand and maybe even the world to wish you Merry Christmas on Christmas Day in New Zealand, of course. It's very, very nice to be with you on the all-night programme. It's an honour, in fact. Um, this is Peter McElwain with you. Thank you for joining me. Lots of good things to look forward to through the witching hours this morning. 12.15, Silent Night. Max Cryer's book, Love Me Tender, explores the quirky and surprising stories behind a host of well-known songs. In this episode, the feature song is Silent Night. And coming up on Health Check at 12.30, watching videos of their own life stories, including old photographs and favourite songs, helps to ease anxiety in people living with dementia. The controversial theory linking depression and a reduced rate in the creation of new brain cells, neurogenesis, is now being linked with another line of research and the latest results of a decades-old psychology test where a child is offered one marshmallow now or two if they wait a while have surprised some. And it's the final Te Ahi Car program for the year at 5 past 1. Tonight we feature highlights from a few of this year's stories from Kapahaka to a symposium about the New Zealand land wars, 10 years since the Tuhoi raids to stories about making the Māori language more accessible. So that's coming up just after the news at 1 o'clock. A story for you after two called Christmas Dinner. In 1835, Charles Dickens, that most excellent master wordsmith, penned an amusing essay on the subject of Christmas dinner. Not so much the meal itself as the effect on a family when everyone gathers together for the festivity. And to 2.30 and our New Zealand music feature with Trevor Rickey. It uh, features the Kronos Quartet. I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Another story for you at five past three. It's called Last Christmas, written by Elizabeth Easter. The family Christmas dinner conflict, tears and broken crockery. Five past three. Three thirty science in action. Global science stories featuring on this week's uh, episode include a new research collaboration which has been launched to look at ways to get early warning of landslides in the mountainous regions of southwest India. 3D printed kidney, mosquito identification, and paleontologists suing Trump on Science in Action at 3.30. We have the autistic gardener for you between 4 and 5 with uh, Catherine Ryan. As his name suggests, Alan Gardner has green fingers as well as pink hair and nails. He also has Asperger syndrome and is the presenter of the TV documentary show the Autistic Gardener. He talks to Catherine about how he views the world differently and uses this as an advantage to work his horticultural magic on suburban wastelands. The New Zealand premiere of Series 2 of this show is on Thursdays from the 28th of December at 7.30pm on The Living Channel. We also have a book review for you before five. It's called The Beat of the Pendulum, written by Catherine Chigi and published by VUP and reviewed by Louise O'Brien. Just after five, Witness deals with Toy Story, the buddy movie about a cowboy doll and a toy astronaut. It was a milestone in film animation. The director and animator Doug Sweetland recalls his work on the Pixar film that is now recognised as the first digitally animated feature film. And our last feature at around 5.45 on the All Night program, another extract uh, from Max Cryer's book, Love Me Tender telling the story behind popular songs and the featured song in this episode is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm personally looking forward to all those features and telling you a few little stories of my own, um, reading your texts on 2101 and playing music after midnight, like this one from the Singers Unlimited. Thank you. 